Okay, so it's Wednesday, yeah? Yeah, and, it's um, Wednesday. Yeah, so over the, the long holiday, you know, it, a lot of people take that time to cook for their families. Mm. But then the person cooking, you know, has to be very wary of their kids these days because <laughs> <laughs> some kids be calling out their mamas for not exactly having the best cooking skills. And I think it's absolutely... What? <laughs> what? I was going to use a word, but then I thought it was going to be a bit too harsh. Mm. So mothers these days mm. are innocently and unknowingly mm. being called out yeah. for so many things. Mm. Okay, so what um, informed this was a tweet someone made. She just posted it. Oh, you know, she doesn't have so many followers. She just yeah. thought she was chatting with her followers. She didn't expect it to blow up. But basically, what she posted was, my mom, my dad definitely did not marry my mom for her cooking skills. Oh. Uh, because uh, my, my mom's meal, on average, could make it to Fear Factor. <laughs> now, for those who don't know Fear Factor, <laughs> it's a reality show that used to reign like uh, in the early two oh, thousand. You don't know. You don't know. You don't oh, know. She's not a child, though. This lady point, is also an Fear adult. Factor. Fear the point factor. Is, um, yes. Why, why are your eyes distant? Like you just remembered something. People, people mind for different reasons. Yeah. Exactly. And really, and um, you shouldn't be. You shouldn't be forced. You shouldn't be forced, even though prior to this time, I mean, when you have your parents, when you have betrothals, yeah. people have, have be, were betrothed from even uh, childhood. Yes. So they were betrothed and all that. Things were chosen for them. I mean, you can love anybody all you want. If your parents say no, it's not going to happen. But that doesn't happen these days. Yeah. And people marry for different reasons. You can marry for culinary skills. That's you. You can marry for aesthetic skills. That's beauty, you. Beauty. You can marry for... <laughs> Population skills mm -hmm. that is you. Mm -hmm. You can marry for you know any other any skill that you desire. So you it, it, it is not high. It's a father. You didn't marry your mother. It was your father that married your mother, and he had his own reasons. I mean, Ma'am, you're kind of allowed. You so know, this thing you said. You ever call out your own mother though? Could you ever call out your own mother for? In that way, um, no, maybe uh, not. No, maybe not. But she didn't I, mean you know, to call out her mom. Yeah, it I, was I, actually I, yes. a joke. I don't think it was but calling out per se. You know how you no no Titi. Yeah, see, Mike, you might you yourself know how Twitter works. You yeah, can make true, one million yeah, tweets. Then one, one that's tweet that you didn't even exactly. put your mind to. You just exactly. are saying retweets, likes, insults, exactly. retweets, likes, insults. Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly what happened in this case. Mm. And no. the reality is, for, for the girl, mm. do you, I, I, there was actually, if you check the thread, yeah. you would see what some guys were posting. Some guys were actually admitting that some of them married women that can't cook. That wow. they married yeah. some for beauty and brains. Okay. That yeah. they were, one even said he's trying to teach his wife how to cook. That sometimes it's a disaster. Sometimes it works out. So it now made me start thinking. Okay. Just two weeks ago, one of the things I asked on my Sunday evening show was, is it a big deal to outsource cooking? Okay. And some people were like, no, why would you outsource cooking in your family? Ashe. <laughs> <laughs> the he reality trying, is different. He was trying though. to send a message. But mm. my, my, I think my, my real issue now here is the calling out, especially on social media. So for me, this social media thing is just getting a bit too much. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the reason why Mike would probably never put something like that on social media about his mom is because of how he was raised and how much he revers his mother. That woman carried you for nine months. That food... Whether it tasted like sand, you cannot be telling me that, my. But yeah, you, know, but you can't but, be doing that. You but, can't do okay, that. Okay, so for for yeah. instance, yeah, when there are times when things happen and you 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 could sit down and say, ah, there are, there are, there are places my parents had or have their strengths, mm -hmm. and then there are places that they don't. My and thoughts too. Oh. But it's not it's not it's not really a problem. Like okay, so if it's about food, there are some foods that I know that ah, my mom will rank there with the best anywhere. Damn. Okay, I'm telling you, and yeah. that was not because. But there are some. I that say, you know, mommy, this mm, one. You know, try. I'm, uh, yeah, I, but there are some that I would. So, uh, but I will. I'm. I'm not. There are some people that will feel like, okay, anything they want about them. Oh, mom, you are the best. Yeah. This and the best that. Uh, uh, that's not me. Uh, <laughs> or more, no, there's not no, the there's no such thing as a perfect. Uh, uh, that's we not need me. to start admitting that and accepting it. Exactly. People will come on social media yeah, and make their lie. mothers are like, They are perfect. <laughs> I am perfect. Titi, for my remember childhood, when the twin said I that cooking? Okay, so I'm perfect. <laughs> if it doesn't taste how somebody else's food Mary, made Mary it should taste, not, Mary should wait, drop you it out. means that their own was wrong. Because <laughs> I'm your mother. I carried you for nine months. So? 
No. <laughs> because the guy didn't even they imagine. Eat. Not that the food is they will, not safe. They will eat elsewhere. <laughs> they will Ow. taste it. And Ow. they get the one they go taste it. Hey, <laughs> mommy done the cook rubbish. Since, Mike, do you uh, remember this silly thing that <laughs> so they So that's why they always <laughs> used to say, make sure you don't eat outside. That was the Can reason. you imagine? Mm. Can you imagine? Like Mike, do you remember this story? They'll say, if your mommy's soup is sweet, come here. You see it. And everybody will come. <laughs> uh, by the way, I, this is personal experience. Over the weekend, um, I, my, my taste buds were treated mm -hmm. to some mm. supposed, exquisite, supposed exquisite delicacy. Supposed wow. And this was umkwabi. Wow. But you see, what this thing did to my stomach, oh no. I cannot tell it all. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought it was, it was not told me that it was a potash. Oh. That they used it to thicken it, and it was a cheap one. Oh, oh. no. Uh, you There's know. cheap potash. I yeah, know potash so potash. that's what I heard. I was a cheap potash. That, so I should I should decide where I'm going to eat some coffee. It's not in this place here. Yeah. Yeah. So you see, so in this kind of things, now, if you if you are well, you know, if at home you you, yeah. you you are well, you know, well, your mom gives you well cooked food. When you go outside and taste this kind of thing, yeah. your stomach will not be agreeing with them. Yeah. And they don't get that mommy. But if they eat good food outside, they come back and the stomach is worrying them inside. Yeah, they call mommy out. <laughs> you know what? No matter what, your mother's food is still the sweetest. My mom's food is the best. I would say that anytime, any day.